In this video, you will learn about the name manager in Excel. This is the most interesting and amazing feature in Excel. So you must learn how to use it. The name manager can do a lot of things in simple and easy way and it can save a lot of time in your Excel workings. So stay tuned and please watch the video till end so you don't miss out any new features in the name manager in Excel. Please subscribe our channel for more useful videos and let us know if you have any suggestions, feedback and comments in the comment section below so that it will motivate us to add more videos for your learning. So let's start about the name manager in Excel. The easy and simple way to select the data and type name what are the names you want in the formula bar left side in the cell reference you can type as table and hit enter. So now this name of the cell range is defined as table. In the another alternative way is go to define name and you can type the name and give comments and sale and click OK. So it will be the same work on both the cases will be same. Now in case you want to modify the name let's say I don't want the name as table then you can type here and you can change it. Let's say I want tables or only tab or content and hit enter. So now you can go to the name manager and you can see two names are there and I can delete the second name because I don't want to use it or I can modify this name and I can give the name as table I want and click OK. In case you want to give any comments you can very well give the comments based on your need and in case your table range got changed you can select the range manually wherever you want let's say i want the sale as from here to here or here to here or anything more or i can select the entire column so that whatever i write in the down automatically by default it will be taken into consideration let's do like this and click ok so that whatever the contents i write in the down i don't have to think of it and it will be automatically selected in my cell range and click close so now for example i have another tab where i want to know my sales of for the year 2020 in this case the old method the old method is use vlookup or any index or match formula to pull the number let's try one example and let's next example use the name manager so that how you can see and you can find out called to vlookup select the sale sale range so the four comma four comma zero and close the bracket hit enter so this is the old method now instead of vlookup in the sale reference you can see here by default automatically it will select it as table right so here when you select the sale range you can select the sale as a table now i'll tell you the another alternative way and easy way equal to v lookup let's say lookup value is your 2020 comma table array instead of table array go to formula use formula table so by default automatically it will be rated you don't have to type also you don't have to type and then comma four comma zero so it is so easy it is different and it is time saving you don't have to switch between left right and all these stuffs you just remember the number of columns or headings and what of the data you have that's it let's say you want to another example you want to calculate the average equal to average and you want to define where you want to calculate the average let's say i want to calculate the average of sales then by default i have to select like this and it will be calculated like this now we are going to give a name to the sales let's say i have selected like this then create from selection top row hit enter name manager it is already created simple you don't have to click define name and you have to click on name and easy way because by default header will be considered as a name now you want to modify click edit and change whatever you want then let's close and try the average formula again let's try here equal to average and using formula sales close the bracket simple you can press f2 and you can check the cell range simple it is easy and simple and you can do anywhere in the formula anywhere in the text wherever you want 
so please watch this video carefully if i'm not watched from the starting and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and please subscribe for more useful videos thanks for watching